All right, hey guys, thanks for coming today. This is gonna be a little different weekend than normal. This week, the Denver Summer Slide's going on at the Rocky Mountain Raining Horse Association mm -hmm. puts it on, and we chose not to go. It's the first free futurity of the year for all those three-year-olds, or one of the first anyway. And we chose not to go, but you need a horse, you need a three-year-old is what you want in particular, so we're thinking about flying up there to watch the finals. We watched a bunch of the prelims. Actually, you watched a ton of the preliminary runs. And you sent me one to watch, so you had your list of prospects. I sent you a few. <laughs> so let's watch and see. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Well, I already know this is the horse that won, tried to win the go-around, Mike McIntyre. So this is obviously a joke, right? Yeah, I was just sending this to you so you could see, to compare uh, your three-year-olds to him. But uh, no, I, I do I, like the looks of this horse. Yeah, like this is the kind I mean, of horse. We need to tell Mike that this looks more like a girl's horse. Yeah, I'm sure Mike would probably, <laughs> I'm yeah. sure he's ready to just sell him. This kind's not for sale, or this this one's gonna be a little bit out of our budget. Yeah. Well, that's the thing that I think, number one, we need to find for you. Mm -hmm. Really doesn't matter what age. One that's willing like this, that's just, he's so content. Right. That. I, and I do, I just like how when he walked in, he's so focused on Mike. Wow, look at that. Yeah. You, and you can't train that focus. That's the one thing, like, if one's a little green, I can see that, but like those ears up. Right. And that horse is just standing so comfortable. I mean, Mike, don't get me wrong. Mike's done an excellent job training him. He's showing him one hand here. Look at oh, that. Oh yeah, he's so broke. Mike's plus one. done an awesome job. But like I for, just love this horse's top line and his profile. Yeah. I, um, I myself, as you know, prefer a horse that is level or actually a little bit lower headed like this. Like I think that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you want a horse like this, but you want a... <laughs> a mare. I do, and I do you want... want a mare. I, we want a mare. You want I a horse like this. I do prefer a mare. And we don't want to spend the 250000 that it costs. We want to get it for 10000 right? <laughs> but I just want you to know going in, the horses that we're going to be looking at did not mark a 222 and are doing this. I'm trying to find the diamond in the rough. Same as Lila. Lila, I could see... The potential. I could see that her mindset was really good mm -hmm. and that she was coming along and she just needed a little more time. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to find. It's end of July. They need to be able to do the maneuvers, but uh, maybe it's one that missed a little bit of time. But so you got to stay open-minded because okay. there might be some that you're looking at going, well, it's not really spinning that good. I mean, look at that, Mike. Oh, I thought that was awesome. Let's the, showing him off, just pitching the rain to him. Yeah. And I mean, the horse just stayed in frame. And just because I know how hard it is to have right. oh, a horse yeah. ride around like this. Yeah. Very personal. Now, ride. my friends claim, you know, because I've never shown a fraternity horse, and my friends claim that it's easier than doing wow. the derbies. Look at this. So we'll see. Yeah, it's easy if you got a really good <laughs> horse. Kelly Smith and Veronica Williams tell me it's easier to show a, a uh, three-year-old than a derby horse. I think it's. I think it gets a lot easier if you've got a horse that wants to do it. Yeah. Look at Mike. He's kicking rain out on the rundown. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Equal Love on it. both leads. So you want a horse that's really pretty, level top line mare, real easy to stop, good disposition, good spinner, good circler. <laughs> I don't good. want much. I just want it all. Yeah, look and at that. I there, Mike kind of pulled the horse a little. You can find that. The way the horse rides, it's going to be a big deal, right? You know, we need to we need to have one, like I said, that has a willing attitude, mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. But then you also need to stay, or you need to think. We also need to look at that confirmation as well of the horse, mm -hmm. you know, because if, you know, if they ride really well, they have legs going each direction, and they're going to be crippled all the time. Right. We don't want that either. Right, so we've got right. to pay attention to that. We'll get and a I'm in no hurry because we also have um, the Tulsa show, and. So, I mean, I don't want to be in a hurry. I want to get something that... Right, the right horse will jump in your lap, but I do want to start looking now because the longer we wait, 
the less time that we have for the futurity. Right. So, you know, which it could come a point if we don't find one in time, it could be we find the right horse and the right horse might not be ready in time for the futurity. So I need to know if you're okay with that. Mm -hmm. I am because, you know, honestly, like, are you really, I know. Are you really? No, I really am. Okay. But I know you can get it done, but. Right. But no, seriously though, and I'm not completely closed-minded. I know that, that we've talked now all of a sudden we got so on, oh, you know, I want a three-year-old and everything. But honestly, I would be good with even a derby horse. Okay. I really would. That's the way as I- As long as it's the right horse. That's the way, like for me, I personally think if you just find the right, I've told you this before, mm -hmm. and I think sometimes you're listening, find the right listening. horse no matter what age. Yeah. If it's a two-year-old even, if it's a three. Oh, now I don't, I, I'm not real open for a two-year-old. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I a horse that has. My life. You know I like instant gratification. I'm telling you though, well, would you rather, and people, I see people do this all the time. They get caught up on, I need to have a four-year-old. I need a five-year-old. Yeah. So then they get caught on that age and they don't open their eyes and see there was a heck of a two or three that has, because my, my mentality, like that one that Mike rode right there. Now I could be wrong. Um, I, I, I'm not wrong. You, when you can see that, whether we were live here, whatever, right. that's a, that looks like a special mind horse mm -hmm. that Mike's done a incredible job on. But Mike also has been riding lots of other horses, right? And uh, like me, and they don't all like that. So when right. you see one with that mindset, I really don't care what kind of age they are or what age they are, because I know I know how much better you'll do on a horse like that. Why? pigeonhole yourself and say, I'm only gonna get a three-year-old, then you don't get one with that mentality. You pass on a four-year-old, you know, that had that no, mentality. No, I'm not gonna do that, but I do want a show horse. Like, I really, like, unless you wanna buy me, I actually just had a, a great idea. How about if we buy me a show horse, and if we saw a two-year-old, I would be open for that. I just want a show horse. I wanna go, I want an aged event horse. So you have this window, a three to a Six-year-old. Okay, so five, three to five. All right, so we're. So now, if you want, we could get two horses for me. Uh, maybe and down then I'll the have road. Three, because I have. We're gonna need Smoky. a lot more subscribers for that. <laughs> Please subscribe. You help me out. <laughs> this worked out good with Probably video right not. now because I was gonna do the salmon on the smoker, but Chiago is on it today. This is like turning into a theme now. Like wait, we got this wait, if off. Thiago's making lunch, maybe I am staying. <laughs> wait, this this might change things. This Any of you guys out there, whatever your, give us your best secret, your best recipe on uh, on salmon. Oh, 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 there's no salmon on there, that's a ribeye. This, this is the Brazilian way with the salt. This is tried and tested. Delish. This, this always works. Nice ribeye. Yeah, I this, might stay. How long is it gonna take? I, he's on. He's on it today. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stay. You are gonna stay. Yeah. So I this am. pellet grill is a new deal that uh, new to us because you're normally on the. He's normally on the gas grill, right? Gas grill. Yeah. But you you this started awesome, you did a pellet grill at Dr. Burns' house. Notice how Matt doesn't really know because usually Chiago whoa, 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 whoa. is the grill master and then I am the stand-in. <laughs> Hey. When Chiago is not feeling up what about for the, it. What about the pork shoulder? Yeah, that's right. I've done two He's of them. He's famous for pork, pork shoulders. I'm two well, for two. Well, now, wait <laughs> a two minute. Two. I believe that Corey Pounds, our cutting horse friend, told you how to prepare. Well, it was a combo between him and Taylor. Which is fine. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Taylor. But I'm the one that actually did it. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> but anyway, back to this. <laughs> so, what are you going to put on the salmon today? Uh, just got this rub. The guy said it's really good. So, oh, so local rub from yep. AJ's. From AJ's. So. Try it out and see. So we're gonna do some salmon sandwiches. Oh, and, uh, okay. Well, when you said lunch, like <laughs> you didn't tell me what was on the menu. Of course, it's I'm ribeye staying. for appetizer of course and salmon sandwich. Ribeye for appetizer. Does that look stupid? <laughs> salmon sandwich. I don't think so. Yesterday we had chicken thighs. Yeah, but, and you uh, guys didn't message me and tell me to come over. Ryan didn't answer the phone. Oh, so believe it so. on Ryan, because it's so far for you to walk over to the house and get me. Yeah, anyway, you guys got some special salmon recipes. Matt I'd needs your to, help. I'd love to, thanks. Yeah, I'd love to hear about them. You can always do things different. 
But uh, we're kind of getting into this now. You know, we got to eat lunch. Yeah, we got to eat anyways. And why go do the fast food or, you know, go to a restaurant when we got the Ruckman restaurant here? Yeah, you don't want to go eating fast food after you've been riding that Peloton. Right, yeah, right after, and all the, all the heck that's I catch. That's super into his Peloton that I got him for his birthday. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. If you guys have Pelotons, let me know what oh, your yeah. handle is because is it, we can Matt, ride together. Matt's even competitive with that. Yeah, we can, can test. Ask our friend Jimmy Nichols. Yeah, we can, we can test it out. Let me know though, because Jimmy and I, we talked about that actually. We were like, let's, let's shout out a time. Like actually I'm doing it now, so. Ooh, you're gonna commit. Yeah, this is gonna come, so I'm gonna say August the 2nd. Let's get together, let's let's do an evening ride. I'm gonna say 5 p.m. Jimmy, let's get on. Um, I need to pick the ride now. It's gonna be with Alex, Alex Trussant though, that's, that's my guy. But we'll do August the 1st at 5 p.m. I'll, I'll put a notification out. I'll put something on Facebook and Instagram, put on social. Yeah. I'll put it on the website also. I'll put it on mattmillsraining.com. I'll put on exactly what time and what ride. It's actually, it's gonna be 5 p.m. August 1st, but I'll put what ride it is, and you guys jump on. We'll do an easy one, like 20 minute, 20 or 30 minute ride, and uh, have some fun. It's a great way to stay in shape, and if you like to compete, which I do, it's a good way, you know, you're trying to race up that leaderboard. We're doing it for our horses, right? We wanna stay in shape. Every pound. It's true. Every pound counts. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. You ride to, better. Or we, we keep our horses in shape, but we don't really work on ourselves, so. Anyway, um, I think that's all we've got. Please hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Go to Instagram, give us a follow, and a, you know, like always, go to mattmillsraining.com if you want to subscribe and join our team. We have almost 300 tutorials from A to Z. Um, you know, feel free to send those questions. Send video of your horse. Those subscribers, they love to send video. I critique those videos, send it back to them. Try to help as many people as we can. So. We're gonna get going on this salmon, and, and it's it looks lunchtime. like lunchtime, and we're headed to Denver tomorrow. Hopefully, we find a horse. If we do, we'll make sure we let you know. Oh, I'll definitely let you know. <laughs>